Normans, and welcome back to this week's Norman News. I'm Grace Suomi. And I'm Rachel Shabanian. Stay tuned for news on finals. And more on vegan alternatives. Around the school in 15 minutes, this is the Norman News. Hello Normans, and welcome to the last week of school just before finals. Just as a reminder, our first day of finals is this Friday the 17th. On Friday, students will have their third, fourth, and eighth period finals, if applicable. Carrying over to Monday with first, second, and seventh period finals, and finally on Tuesday, students will be taking their last finals in their fifth and sixth period classes, and then on to a long winter break. Good luck, Normans. Now to Rachel with health. Thanks, Grace. People 16 and up are now approved for the COVID vaccine booster shot. Everyone 16 years and older is now strongly encouraged to take the booster. Only the Pfizer vaccine booster has been approved for this age group. The CDC has emphasized the importance of receiving this vaccine, especially with the rising Omicron variant. So, if you haven't looked into getting your booster, now is the time to do so. Doing your part can help save many lives this holiday season. Now to eat in with World News. Thanks, Rachel. Gunfire broke out on a beach in Mexico's Carib Caribbean coast resort of Cancun on Tuesday, sending tourists running for safety. However, this was no ordinary crime, as not only did the shooters invade one of Mexico's most famous beaches, but they also apparently did it on jet skis. According to the chief of police of the coastal state of Quintana Roo, the attackers pulled up to the beach on jet skis and opened fire at a beach in Cancun's vacation and tourist hotel zone. He also said the jet skis had been found and seized. One witness says this was the first incident of this kind he's seen in his 31 years of coming to Cancun. The shooting is the latest in a chain of violent incidents on the resort-studded coast and occurred in the same week that a special group of National Guard troops were assigned to protect the area. Thankfully, no one was injured and extra safety precautions have been put into place to keep Cancun and the rest of Mexico City safe. Now let's send it to Jacob with National News. A waitress who received a $4,400 tip from a group of Good Samaritans with instructions to split the tip between her and another server has now been fired from her job after the restaurant manager forced her to cough up most of the money. Grant Wise, who owns a local real estate company, organized the $100 dinner club to dine at the Oven and Tap restaurant in Arkansas. He had each member contribute a $100 tip to the experience. Wise said that he called the restaurant ahead of his arrival to confirm that its servers did not share their tips, and later presented one of the waitresses named Ryan with a check for $4,400 to split between her and another waitress. Soon after, restaurant managers told Ryan that she would have to split the tip with actually all of her co-workers, something that she did not have been requested in the last 3.5 years that she has worked there. A few days later, Wise found out that Ryan had been fired for violating the restaurant's rules by telling Wise about its tip policy. Wise displayed his sentiment in a YouTube video, which he posted and as he announced that he would put together a GoFundMe for the waitress. Now to Nora with local news. Thanks, Jacob. Michael J. Libo made a very generous donation to the Music Center of Beverly Hills High School. Libo is a well-known real estate agent and donated about $50,000 for VHHX. The school plans on using the money to bring a professional music production lab so students will have the opportunity to learn how to produce music. The ribbon cutting ceremony took place on December 8th and the recording studio is now named the Michael J. Libo Music Industry Center. Now to Natalie with this week's movie, movie review.
Thanks, Nora. Sing 2 will be released on December 22nd, 2021, starring Matthew McConaughey, who plays Buster Moon, Scarlett Johansson, and Taron Edgerton. This film takes place two years after the first film. Buster Moon's theater has great business, and during a new performance by his musicians, Moon spots Sookie, a talent scout. Sookie, however, leaves the in the middle of the performance, and when confronted by Moon, tells him that he and his team will never make it to Red Shore City, the equivalent to Hollywood. Though Buster and his team still audition for Jimmy Crystal in Red City, Crystal is uninterested in their show until Gunter, played by Nick Kroll, mentions making Clay Calloway a part of their show. Calloway is a famous rock star who hasn't been seen in public for 15 years due to his wife's passing. Now they're given a possibility to make it to, Redstone, to Red Shore City. The only catch is they need to convince Calloway to join their show. of the world. I'll give you three weeks to get this show up and running. Johnny, you're going to be working with the number one choreographer in Red Shore City. Yuck! That is rubbish. So bad. Ow. He's freaking me out. Tip it toes. Tip it toes. I don't see your tip it toes. My love is like a rocket watch a blaster. I'm really having second thoughts about this. I can't do this. Can I try? This girl is so Terrific! But can she act? Take that, you nasty alien monster! Did I do good? Oh boy. You have no idea what you're getting into. Whatever podunk town they crawled out of, that's where they belong. I got you. We cannot let that bully steal our hopes and dreams. Guts, faith, these are the things you need now. It is my pleasure to present to you a brand new show featuring the return of Clay Calloway. Clay Calloway. I got you. So step right up and take your seat. The journey of a lifetime is about to begin. Any of you can tap dance, huh? Thanks, Natalie. Sing 2 looks amazing, and I can't wait to go check it out. Go get your tickets for Sing 2 this week. Now to Daniela with this week's food review. Thanks, Grace and Rachel. Food companies are starting to incorporate an increasing amount of vegan options for their consumers. A small pink baggie printed with the phrase plant-based gummies showing classic orange, lemon, cherry, and strawberry flavors was shared on Starburst's Instagram stories this week. Starbursts contain gelatin, an ingredient that contains animal bones. Since their release in 1960, Starbursts have never offered a gelatin-free version, but that soon may change. TCHO, a chocolate company, is done with dairy and will stop using it completely by 2023 to create a new standard in the artisan chocolate sector. Treeline launched its vegan goat cheese in the Hudson Valley of New York in 2011, and it continues to develop the sector with the current announcement of vegan goat cheeses. Treeline's goat cheeses are made with ethnically sourced cashews from Brazil that are blended into a cream and then fermented to generate deep and varied tastes. With so many of our favorite brands producing vegan options, are you willing to give veganism a try? Now to Matthew with gaming. Thanks, Daniela. Solar Ash is a 3D action adventure platformer with a beautiful open world. You play as Ray, a void runner who ventures into the Ultravoid, a black hole, in the hopes of finding what is necessary to save her world as she encounters enemies and eldritch abominations. The story has a very vague nature to itself in the game. While the summary is simple, it's quite a large amount more than the sum of its parts. 
And I think this is the first time I've felt the need to give special attention to a game's graphic design. This game is so pretty to look, like, look at, with its beautiful shading and almost psychedelic colors that really does make you feel like you're in some type of eldritch void, an enchanting nightmare if you would. The gameplay is one of exploration across this endless void, without much focus on combat, though fun nonetheless as you swing your nail at li of light at enemies. It's got more of a focus on skating around, platforming, and puzzle solving. While that may sound boring to you, after a week of finals, I'd say this sounds like a perfect way to recover for over our winter break. Though, don't mistake my description of lacking combat for void of combat, as the giant island-sized monstrosities known as the Sentinels, which are more like puzzles than fights, I would best compare to the I'd best compare to the Colossi and Shadow of the Colossus, which can never be a bad thing. The focus on exploration and beautiful environments, with tightness mountains for bosses, and vague storytelling are both elements shared by each game. The feeling of this game the music of this game applies a similar feeling to that of the graphics, being that of empty beauty of this ever expanding void. I'd personally recommend Solar Ash. It's a beautiful game with unmatched atmosphere, fun gameplay, and an intriguing story. Now to Deborah with the weather. Thanks, Matthew, and hello, Normans, and welcome to this week's weather forecast for the week of November 1st, 2021. This week in Los Angeles, we will be expecting sunny, cloudy skies with a high of 60 throughout the week. Today is partly sunny with a high of 63 and a low of 53. Today, Tuesday, we'll, see, we'll continue to have a high of 66 degrees. Wednesday, skies are cleared with an increase to 69 degrees and a low of 57. Thursday, there will be sunny skies with a high of 84 degrees and a low of 60 degrees. Finally, on Friday, we will be in the high 60s. Thank you for watching this week's weather forecast. This is Deborah Cohen. Now let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Deborah, and thank you for tuning in to this week's Norman News. I'm Grace Suomi. And I'm Rachel Shabanian. We will see you next year. Yay. Yay.